happy Saturday. I hope everyone uh, had a good Saturday. It's uh, really only like 9 o'clock p.m. here on the West Coast. Uh, I started my day at 6 a.m. today with uh, Kara at Kara's Bookshelf. She did a live reading sprint uh, to kick off a 48-hour readathon type thing. But we read uh, live from 6 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time till about noon. So I got a lot of reading done today. And um, I also want to, off the bat, thank uh, Tommaso at Tom L.A. Books in the first place for turning me on to Mr. Gene Wolf. All right? Uh, in fact, Tom bought me this book, his uh, The Island of Dr. Death and Other Stories and Other Stories. And that's uh, Gene Wolfe is full of puns, allegories uh, to Christianity, uh, parables, paradoxes, all types of things. And then when I visited Tom in L.A., he gave me this book, Peace, which I read, which I'm rereading now. Because as the saying goes, you do not read Gene Wolfe, you reread Gene Wolfe. And there's a great podcast t called that. I'll try to remember a link below. But if not, just uh, Google or look up uh, rereading Gene Wolfe. And I'll, I have his, um, uh, the first four books, or two books, rather, of, uh, well, no, they're four books. There are two books in each uh, volume, but uh, Book of the New Sun, which uh, kind of uh, I'm warming up for that because we're going to be reading that in June. Evidently, uh, Noah, at everyone who reads it must converse, is doing like a uh, readathon of of the Sword and Cit Citadel. So, uh, looking forward to that. The Sword of the Lector and the Citadel of the Antioch. So, I just got done reading, I think, my third story in this book, and it's called The Death of Dr. Island, and it's a rather long story. It took me all day to read it. I've also been painting and drying. I'll show you some of that at the end. Uh, but um, just, I've never read stories this spectacular in packed with things. It's a desert island story. It's a one flew over the cuckoo's nest story. Literally, this uh, the main character, Nicholas, has his brain uh, cut in half, the two lobes. And he's on this desert island. He's naked. And there's a villain in it called Ignatius. And there's a female in it. And it's uh, otherworldly. It's a sci-fi story. It doesn't really take place on Earth. It's just out of this world. And then another favorite story of mine in here was uh, The Doctor of Death Island. About a, it's a cryogenic story by a guy who's brought back to life, but he's in prison. And now he's not the only one. They're saying life in prison now is 500 years. So you, can you imagine a story? That's like the base bottom line of the story. Uh, like it's a prison story. It's a futuristic story. Oh, Gene Wolfe, man, is the shite. Gene Wolfe is the shite. So uh, that's like less than five minutes. We'll keep this short. I want to get back to my Gene Wolfe stories. Uh, hey, if you like Gene Wolfe, let me know. I'm going to start a playlist on this because uh, I know I, I reviewed the the... The first one, which I don't don't make me get up and turn around again. The first one, uh, Shadow and Claw, with Servium in it, the Torturer. Man, I can't wait to get back into this. Look at the small print on this too. Oh my God! Ha 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 ha! It's the shit though. Oh, I forgot. 
I want to make sure you let some of my artwork. Okay, this I redid it, uh, did it larger. I don't know if I like it that that much. I, I'm, I'm going to show you in a second. So yeah, so yeah, I redid it. It's supposed to be Mount Hood in 1949. I still might. It's just like pin. Maybe I'll go over it a little darker. But I'm also doing this. This is a graphite pencil. I'm, I already did this last month. Southwest Portland, 1949. And I'm redoing it. I'm just starting to draw the train, as you can see. But, yeah, I like to draw. Doing some watercolors. This is how they started the backgrounds. So... Talk to you later.